Okay, time for another vlog. Dan the bodybuilder from Thailand, the freedom-loving American man in Turkey who cannot be bought or sold. Take away my body, still have my brain. Take away my possessions. I don't give a fuck because I travel out of a suitcase anyways. The only possession I really like that I have that I carry with me is my electric guitar. And uh, yeah, uh, not a man, not a man of possessions. Here in Antalya, Turkey, there was one other, <laughs> there was one other <laughs> slogan about myself that I made up. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Try to get me a bunch of, of money to sell out and lie to people. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I have sufficient for my needs. I'm happy. <laughs> um, here in Antalya, Turkey, weird outfit, right? I just got out of the gym. Been uh, training here. Of course, I don't wear a mask when I'm in the gym. Of course, I'm not a pussy like that. Primo Bolin, widely available in Antalya, Turkey. Any pharmacy, it's not even a special pharmacy. Just walk into any pharmacy and it's loaded with uh, Bayer Remo Bolin amps, tons of them, and they sell them at the pharmacy for about the equivalent of four US dollars. So each one is like 35 Turkish Lira or 40 Turkish Lira for a hundred milligram primable in amp. This is the uh, coast here. Antalya, Turkey. Well, so what was going on was when I was in Ukraine, I like Ukraine a lot and I'm going back. I'm going to go back. Uh, but it was so cold there um, and very snowy and everything. And also the sky is never blue in, in uh, Ukraine. So it was affecting my mood a little bit. It's definitely affecting my mood a little bit. Uh, to be in that kind of more depressing weather. Um, I'm gonna make. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna be a shock jockey. When I was uh, when I was younger, in my early 20s, and when I was uh, a teenager, I used to always do shocking things in public. I would do things to shock the public. I'm not gonna go over them. I've grown out of it. I'm sure you guys can still see it in my personality. You know, like, maybe for something, you know, stupid, like, uh, all these people when they're looking at me, when I'm walking by, and I'm like a bodybuilder, you know, then like doing a flex, that would be one thing, right? And it's kind of stupid. But when I was younger, man, I would do something like run by and, you know, show everyone my ass or something. <laughs> Man, good thing I grew out of that shit. Good thing I grew out of that shit. Uh, pretty lively day today. What I mean by that is mooning people. Mooning people. That was, that was funny. When I was a, a teenager, my friends and I, we'd moon people. Like uh, one time I remember we drove by the skate park because we all used to be skateboarders. So we knew what would really bother skateboarders. Um, and so we, we turned up the, the music and we drove by the skate park and we mooned the skate park as we drove by screaming, skater die! 
and then all the skateboarders you know they all boom middle fingers up like that you know we knew exactly what they'd be doing it's like uh and that's so funny i remember that that because that used to be us when we were at the skate park you know and the football players or something would drive by screaming skate or die with their asses hanging out the window and we'd be like fuck you what a beautiful day isn't it it's been a really uh and tell you i've been here for a month and it's been a very peaceful very peaceful city um There's not a lot going on here, you know? It's just a vacation city. Uh, most European-looking people here are Russians. There's not a lot of Americans or European people here. So, for the most part, if they look European, they're Russians. And there's Russian writing and stuff here. No one speaks English here in Turkey. Uh, they do not speak English. And I'm talking like no one. Out of any country that I've ever been to, I would say Turkish speak people speak the least English, including South America. There's not a lot of people in South America speak it, but Turkey is just like, they do not speak English. Not even a little bit. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is basically it, you know, when you're in Antalya, it's like you walk around and uh, enjoy the weather, enjoy the beach, enjoy the coast. And it's just a place to like relax and unwind. Uh, the culture here, you know, it's a, it's a Muslim culture, Turkish culture. It's they're they're nice they're friendly but it's not a a mix culture so it's not a culture where you can mix with them and um you see a lot of like foreigners and turkish people doing things together that's not how it goes so it's very divided which is not a not a bad thing it's just it's just the way it is here uh and that the foreigners do their thing the locals do their things and there's not a lot of mixing there that happens uh, and as you can see this is pretty uh pretty typical pretty typical you see people just kind of hanging out looking at the ocean after uh after like work gets done and shit you see like more like families coming down here and people just kind of coming and hanging out. That's kind of the thing to do. Uh, when you, when you come here, you just uh, hang out on the coast. I've been working out. Um, I've been dieting. Uh, I'm sure that you guys can, I know I'm wearing a big hat but I'm sure you guys can still see that my face is uh, changed a lot from my Ukraine videos because I was bulking in my Ukraine video, uh, last video that I released. And now I've been here, I've lost, uh, if I'm depleted, I've lost about 20 pounds. But if I'm uh, carved up, I've lost about 15 pounds. I like to run a ketogenic diet when I do weight loss because um, it's it controls my blood sugar and controls my neurological uh, chemicals my neurotransmitters so that I feel good and I feel in control when I'm dieting if I diet with carbohydrates my blood sugar gets totally out of control um, carbohydrates are good for bulking but they do contain the storage um, or they do cause the release of the storage chemical um, insulin uh, which drops your blood sugar and my blood sugar is too wild when I incorporate carbohydrates um, in a calorie deficit and also my neurotransmitters the chemicals that control 
my mood, my emotions uh, really get fucked up if I'm not running a ketogenic diet. Uh, so I feel very sad. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things like with dieting. I, I, I just posted this on my Instagram the other day. Uh, well, I have two Instagrams, Bodybuilder in Thailand and Steroids Podcast. And uh, I posted on there about how if, uh, if you have a personal trainer and they give you your diet, right? And they're like, here, eat this. And it has like your calories or your macros, whatever. They give you your macros. And they're like, fit your macros. And uh, then when you're not able to stick to it, if they tell you, oh, well, you know, you need to de dig deeper. You need to suck it up. You need to uh, uh, be more communicated. Then that, that personal trainer is a scammer. They're scamming you. Because uh, dieting is, is all about finding the right foods and the right nutrients that balance that person's neurotransmitters, their neurochemicals, while they're in the diet. Because everybody knows how to lose weight. You just stop eating. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, that's a very easy thing to do, isn't it? Not hard as shit because it's not that simple dieting is completely mental it completely has to do with the person's neurotransmitters and their brain and making it tolerable for them um, in their brain and to be in a calorie deficit so you have to find a, a trainer who, who knows how to do that for you and, and 